All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. The 2022 Texas Pro Finals just wrapped up. Andrew Jacked winning his pro debut here in Texas in a very impressive fashion. I think everybody now that was doubting Andrew Jacked is now made a believer. I saw a lot of comments on the prejudging video saying that Ian Valier um, was making some comments about Andrew Jack doubting his ability. Well, apparently Ian is eating his words right now because Andrew won in very impressive fashion. I think it was pretty, I think it looked pretty clear cut to most people watching prejudging that Andrew Jack really stood out the most and he was the clear winner. I think the best comment that I saw when I was reading through the prejudging video comments is someone said, it almost looked like you're watching the lineup. And Andrew Jacked, his physique was filmed in 4K, and everybody else was filmed in like 480p. That's how much his physique stood out in this lineup. Um, the fullness that he had, the detail, your, your eyes were just drawn to him the whole time more than anybody else. And in addition to that, he was the biggest guy on stage. He was the tallest guy on stage, and I'm assuming if he was still in the 290s, then he was probably the heaviest guy on stage. And Martin Fitzwater, who took uh, second to him, significantly shorter and significantly lighter. But again, I think Martin looked the best we've ever seen him look, and he definitely deserved that second-place finish, which is big for him, placing over Steve Kuklo. And I saw an interview, actually two interviews, one with Andrew and one with his coach, George Farrow, where they both said Andrew was clearly not at 100% here because the plan was the Arnold Classic UK, and they're still six or seven weeks out from that show. And I think Andrew even described himself as being 70 or 75% for this Texas pro, and it was uh, Flex Wheeler, I believe, that wanted Andrew to go ahead and jump in this Texas show, get the Olympia qualification, and then do the Arnold Classic UK. So this wasn't even Andrew's final form, I guess you would call it. And really, looking at Andrew in this lineup, the only drawback to his physique or the only point that I thought was concerning were the back shots, specifically his lower body. I think he definitely could have used some more definition um, in the glutes and hamstrings and, and been a little bit tighter from the back, but from the front, and those are the shots that we keep seeing, is the shots of Andrew from the front where he's very dominant, clear-cut winner from the front. From the side, I still think he's kind of on par with how he looks from the front, but you can see a little bit of that detail lacking in the separation in the legs. And look, now that we know this is Andrew at 75% in his own words, and I think, again, the clear-cut winner, what is this guy going to look like at 100%? And also, before we talk too much about Andrew, I should mention that uh, Kamal El Gargney wound up in fourth place and Quint Beastwood wound up in fifth. So that was how the rest of the uh, top five shaped out at finals. But I think, again, the real story here is Andrew Jack. This was his pro debut. He's had a lot of hype online, a lot of hype on social media. He's had a lot of doubters. And I think, to be quite honest, he slammed the door shut here. I think this was a very impressive lineup. This wasn't an easy win for him um, in terms of the quality of competition that he was up against. I mean, he was up against Kamal, who's a 212 Olympia champion, and Kamal wound up in fourth place here. He's up against Steve Kuklo, who is a veteran, who's won multiple pro shows. This this was not an easy lineup, even though I think Steve was a little bit off, and I think he was even more off at finals than he was at prejudging. This was a really good lineup, and I said in my prejudging video, I would even say this is the best quality of competition in terms of the quality of the competitors, in terms of the depth of the lineup. I think since the Arnold Classic of this year, in terms of competitions that have happened this year, this was the best lineup aside from the Arnold Classic Ohio. So not only did Andrew win his pro debut, but he won a very, very impressive lineup. And this is like his third show ever. In, in one of the interviews that I was watching of George Farah, George even made the comment that Andrew has only been on gear for like a couple years. And this is only his third competition ever. I think it's his third. I know he just started competing like in the past year and a half. I believe the first show he did was like some show that was maybe not affiliated with the NPC. Then he did the uh, Arnold Classic Amateur. That's where he earned his pro card. Then he came straight here and won his pro debut. And honestly, I mean this with sincerity, I think that Andrew Jack is a legitimate threat to the top six at the Olympia this year. And I saw, all, like I said, I saw all these comments about Ian, uh, Ian versus Andrew. And this was a show that Ian won last year and Ian was contemplating doing this year and chose not to do because now he's qualified for the Olympia. I honestly think had Ian done this show, Andrew still would have won. I think he would have beaten Ian here. That's how impressive I think Andrew Jacked is. So Andrew Jacked, his time has come. He has arrived. Congratulations, Andrew, on the victory, the qualification for the Olympia, and I sincerely look forward to seeing what he's able to do on that Olympia stage this year. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about these placings and results. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Make sure you like the video, hit that subscribe button, and as always, I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Power. Signing out.
All right, guys, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. Also, check out my Instagram at Nick Strength Power. My Facebook page, which is simply Nick Strength and Power. My secondary YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Vlogs, for vlogs and bonus content that you will not see on this channel. And consider subscribing to my third YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Pokemon, which is all things Pokemon and trading card games completely unrelated to this channel. So if you're into that, give that one a look. And all links to merchandise and social media will be in the description box below. If you guys want a Nick Strength and Power t-shirt, that will be in the Shopify link below. Have a great day. Dancing in the good light Everybody's feeling warm and bright It's such a fine and natural sight Every Dancing in the good light Everybody's feeling warm and bright It's such a fine and natural sight Everybody's dancing in the good light Everybody's dancing in the good light